hate to have to have gone through this, but Nebelsville schools made it so much better. Like, I just feel so much better and more confident. Parents in Noblesville say they're ready for back to school just two months after the West Middle School shooting. It hasn't been an easy road, certainly up to this point, with lots of counseling and safety evaluations during the summer. But now Noblesville schools say they're determined to help kids transition back into the classroom today. Our Matt McCutcheon is live there. And Matt, the two survivors of the shooting say they're ready to get back in the swing of things as well today. They are. Good morning to you. School bus is now going by right here outside of Noblesville West Middle School. We've also noticed a couple of police officers coming here to the school today. That's just part of the increased security. Teachers and staff will notice here today as school starts in exactly one hour here at Noblesville West Middle School. Here's a timeline of everything that's happened in a very busy two and a half months. You may remember that school shooting took place on Friday, May 25th, Carb Day here in Indianapolis. Then on the ne very next day, Saturday, May 26th, Hero Team Teacher Jason Seaman, who had been shot, would be released from the hospital. He would also receive a call from President Trump that same day. Classes would then resume here for Noblesville West on Wednesday, May 30th, rounding out a short week and the final week of classes for the summer. Then on Monday, June 11th, the suspect in all of this would appear in court. This all comes as Ella Whistler continues recovering after being shot seven times. Her remarkable survival story has been celebrated this summer, including serving as Grand Marshal of the Carmel July Fourth Parade and getting to hang out with the Indianapolis Colts. In about a month from now, she should be able to have her neck brace removed. She will be here for this first day. Teacher Jason Seaman has also received many honors this summer, including a free car and getting to throw out the first pitch at a St. Louis Cardinals baseball game. Both will tell you they have been waiting for today. So I'm really excited for August 1st to come so we can get back to, to teaching and learning and just, you know, being normal children and everything like that. Yes, she is. I am mm -hmm. really ready. People just don't believe that I'm going back the first day. People think, some people think I'm going to be homeschooled. Some people think I won't be there the first day, but it's going to be as normal as possible. And that is what administrators want here for this very first day of classes. Again, buses are rolling here. We do know that the principal will be releasing a statement on how this very first day will go here at Noblesville West Middle School and alert parents any changes that may need to be made. Of course, we'll be posted here throughout this first day. Julia. All right, so good to hear even the parents feeling better yeah. about kids going back I to know, school. I know, it's kind of the nerves and excitement yeah. there mixed in. You know, and as part of the district's efforts to create a safer environment in those schools, a large part of their focus is on student mental health. In the referendum for this November, they want money for mental health screenings to identify things like suicide, anger, and trauma. They're also asking for a mental health coordinator for the entire district. And they're hoping to get 10 social workers on the payroll to help tackle any issues that may arise. Plus, they're looking at a mentoring program that could help at-risk kids. Now, this is just part of the massive safety plan Noblesville is looking at. If you'd like to see the entire detailed report, you can head to our website at wthr.com/noblesvilleshooting. All right, about six.